Let's take a look at this problem. We got xy is equal to 5 and we got x squared plus y squared is equal to 26. Now we don't want to start with the one with the largest powers. Uh, you always want to start with the one that's simplest. Uh, the xy equals 5 is our simpler one, so we'll start with it. So we got xy is equal to 5, and we want to solve for the, typically solve for the variable with the smallest powers, but these are both the first power, so it doesn't matter. I'll solve for y. So I divide both sides by x. And those x's cancel. And we got y is equal to 5 over x. Now step two, we want to plug this into the other equation. So our other equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 26. And we just said y is equal to 5 over x. So we got x squared plus 5 over x squared is equal to 26. And we want to solve this. So we got x squared plus 5 over x squared, 5 squared, 5 squared is 25, x squared is x squared, equals 26. Now we're still solving this. This is a rational equation at this point, and uh, we get rid of rational equation, or we solve the rational equation, but first is by getting rid of the fractions, multiply everything by the LCM of all our denominators. We only have one denominator, the x squared, so we're going to multiply everything by x squared. So I take x squared times x squared, x squared times 25 over x squared equals 26 times x squared. x squared times x squared gives us x to the fourth. Here these x squared are going to cancel. So we've got plus 25 is equal to 26 times x squared is 26x squared. Now we want to get everything over one side, so I'll take 26x squared to the left side. So we've got x to the fourth minus 26x squared plus 25 is equal to zero. Now this is the u substitution now. So we're going to let the uh, middle part here minus the number in front be our u. Oops, I was going to write u squared. That would have been wrong. There we go. And we'll let the first part here be our u squared. So that's our u and that's our u squared. So we rewrite this as u squared minus 26u plus 25. If you're wondering, well, how do I know it's a u substitution? If you can take the middle part here, the x squared, raise it to the second power, and it gives you this first part. That's when you can use the u substitution. Well, now we want to solve for u. This will factor using the PSD. This factors as u minus 1 times u minus 25 equal to 0. Zero factor property. You get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I'll set u minus 1 equal to 0 and u minus 25 equal to 0 and then you solve them. So we get u is equal to 1 and u is equal to 25. Well now we need to plug what we said u was equal to up here back in. We said uh, u is equal to x squared, so we're going to put in x squared for the u now. So we've got x squared is equal to 1, and x squared is equal to 25. Well, the square root property, a lot of different things you can do in this problem. Uh, if you got something, something squared equal to something else, you drop your squared, and you put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Same thing here. Drop our squared, put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Now, square root of 1 is 1, so we got x is equal plus or minus 1, and x is equal plus or minus square root of 25 is 5. Okay, step 3. We want to then take these answers and plug them into our equation from, from step 1. So we came up with x is equal to 1. And we came up with x equal negative 1. Let me start with those first, and then we'll do the 5 and negative 5. So we're plugging them into this equation. So we've got y is equal to 5 over x. Here we said x is 1, so we've got y is equal to 5 over 1, or y is equal to 5. So this answer will be 1, 5. This one, 
I'm going to have 5 over x, which is negative 1. So that's going to give us a negative 5. So this answer will be negative 1, negative 5. Now we also want to plug in x equals 5 and x is equal to negative 5 into y is equal to 5 over x. Scroll down a little bit. Okay, so here we have 5 over x, which we said was 5, so 5 over 5 is 1. So this answer will be 5, 1. In this one, I'll plug in a negative 5 for the x, so I got 5 over negative 5, which gives us negative 1. So this answer will be negative 5, negative 1. And those will be your other two answers. So those are our four answers.